Hi, Jeff here with Corsair. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Hydro Series H75 liquid CPU cooler. The H75 comes with a 120mm radiator, so it'll fit in most cases, and it also comes with dual SP120L fans that are PWM compatible, so you get push-pull configuration right out of the box. We're going to install our H75 into a Graphite Series 230T case. We'll start by installing the back plate. You can see the back plate has adjustable pins, which slide back and forth to give you compatibility with multiple socket types. So our motherboard has an 1150 socket from Intel, and we're going to have to use the included back plate. If you're using the Intel 2011 or an AMD socket, uh, then you're going to use the back plate that comes pre-mounted to the motherboard. Then we secure the back plate in place with these standoffs. There are three types of standoffs, one for use with Intel socket 2011, one for AMD sockets, and one for all other Intel sockets. Now that we've got the back plate installed, we're going to install the fans and the radiator. One important note about the fans is on one side, you're gonna find embossed into the plastic two arrows. One of the arrows points in the direction that the fan blades will spin, and the other arrow tells you which direction the air is going to be blown. In our system here, we're gonna mount the fans so that they exhaust air out of the case. And I actually like to install the first fan before installing the radiator, because you have a lot more room to work with. So now I've got our first fan installed on the radiator, and we're gonna now mount the second fan and the radiator all at once. So one thing to be sure of before mounting the fan is you wanna make sure that it's pointing in the same direction as your other fan. And once you figure that out, you just wanna line it up with the rear mounting holes and use your screws to line up. I usually like to do two before getting the radiator involved, just so you have two mounting points to screw in with the radiator. And the correct order for the mounting hardware, which you can kind of see here, is you have the screw, the washer, the case, the fan, and then the screw is being mounted into the actual radiator. So you just need to hand tighten the screws so that the radiator is secure. You definitely don't need to over tighten it. We've got the radiator and both fans mounted in the case. The only thing left to do is to install the cooling unit. You can see that there's thermal interface material pre-applied to the cooling block, so you don't need to add any. Now you'll just want to align the standoffs with the holes in the mounting bracket and then secure the cooling unit using the provided thumb screws. Now it's time to plug in our fans and our pump. But before doing that, you can see we've got a lot of slack here. One trick that I like to do is I like to coil the wires around a screwdriver to keep the interior clean. The two fans use a Y cable, so they can both be plugged into the CPU fan header on the motherboard. Like I said before, these are PWM fans, so if your motherboard supports PWM through the CPU fan header, it should be able to automatically regulate the fan speed based on the temperature of the CPU. Now we'll plug the pump power cable into one of the chassis fan headers. And that's it. We've got the H75 all installed and ready to go. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions about the H75 or any of our other products, here's how to get in touch with us.